Hello guys, are you able to hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, in today's class, today's class, we will discuss about the construction of a involute. Okay. So, what is meant by a involute? So, involute is a curve which can be generated when we when we unwound a string which is revolved around a circle. So, you can see that here I have constructed a circle. So, in this circle, if you wound a string completely for one revolution around this circle, so from A to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to again it will come to A. So, if you have a string which is wound around a circle for one complete revolution, then if you unwound that circle, what do you mean by unwound? Unwound means again removing the circle. So, if we unwound the string from A and if you keep that here, that is the thing. Okay. So, when you are unwinding a string which is wound around a circle, what is the path traced by the particular point A on this circle? For example, this point A, this point A on the circle. When you unwound the string and completely place it on the floor, what is the path travelled by, traced by this point A? That path is called as a involute curve. That path is called as an involute curve. Okay. So, how to construct this involute curve? Right. This is today's class of discussion. Right. So, now, let us construct an involute for a circle of diameter 50 mm. Okay. So, here I have specified that involute of a circle of diameter 50 mm. Of diameter 50 mm. Okay. So, you construct a circle of diameter 50 mm. So, how to construct a circle? You take 25 mm as radius in your compass and then with the point this point O, this point O as center, you construct this circle of radius 25 m. So, the diameter will be 50. Okay. So, after constructing this circle, you have to split the circle into equal segments. So, in previous class, we have divided into 12 equal segments. So, now I have divided this into 8 equal segments. So, how to divide the circle into 8 equal segments? So, here initially you can drop a vertical line through the center point O and then a horizontal line through the point O. Now, the circle will be divided into 4 segments. After that, you can take your protractor and keep it here with the center point as O. At 45 degrees, if you draw a line, and extend this, this segment you can get. And similarly from here if you take 45 degree, that is this one is 45 and this one is 45 degree. Automatically you can split this whole circle into 8 equal segments. Okay. So, after constructing the circle into 8 equal segments, you draw a horizontal line, draw a horizontal line from A from A up to B. Now, what is the length of AB? The length of AB is equal to the circumference of the circle. So, how to find out the circumference? You have the relation pi into D, pi into D or 2 pi R. So, here D is the diameter of this circle, D is the diameter of this circle. So, pi into 50 which is equal to 157. 157. Now, AB length is equal to 157 equal to 157. So, you draw a line AB from A, horizontal line AB which is equal to 157 mm. Then split that AB into 8 equal parts because here the circle has been split up into 8 equal parts has been split up into 8 equal parts. 
So, here A, B should also be splitted into 8 equal parts. Okay. So, now this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and finally this is 8. So, you know how to split a line into 8 equal parts, 10 equal parts, 12 equal parts. That geometric construction procedure has already been explained in our previous lecture of cycloid. Of cycloid. The same procedure you can adopt to split this line into 8 equal parts. Okay, right. So now to construct the involute, what we need to do? You construct the tangent from the points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 7. So, how to construct a tangent? How to construct a tangent from 1? So, I construct a tangent from 1 like this. So, the tangent should be exactly perpendicular to this line O1. So, this for this line O1, this line should be perpendicular. Perpendicular means it should be at 90 degrees. You can use your drafter can use your mini drafter to construct this ok right so this line then you construct a tangent at point 2 so like this so it should be exactly perpendicular to O2 for O2 right similarly you can construct tangents for all the points from 3 to 7 right like this So, I am constructing the tangent lines. I am constructing the tangent lines from the points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, all these tangents are perpendicular to the respective segments. Okay, right. Then for 7. So, for all these I have constructed the, the tangents. Right. Okay. So, now I have constructed the tangents for the points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Okay. Now, with A1, you take A1 in your compass. You measure this length A1 in your compass and with 1 as center. Okay. So, since it will be get confused, here you have 1, 2, 3. So, this one you can name as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4, 5, 6 dash and 7 dash. Now, with A1 dash as radius, with 1 as center, you can cut the arc here. With 1 as center and A1 dash as radius, you can cut the arc here. So, this is called as 1 double dash. Then, you take A2 dash as radius in your compass and with this point 2 as center, you cut the arc here. Right. So, this one. This will be 2 double dash. This will be 2 double dash. So, when you measure A3 dash as length in your compass and with 3 as this point 3 as center in this tangent you cut that arc. So, A3 you cut this. So, this is 3 double dash. 3 double dash. Then you take A4 as radius in your compass. You bring here with 4 as center and you cut the arc. This is 4 double dash. This is 4 double dash. Then you take A5 in your compass with 5 as center and this A5 as radius you cut the arc. So, this is 5 double dash. This 5 double dash. Then similarly you take A6 dash and with 6 as center you cut the arc that is 6 double dash. Then A7 as radius with the point 7 as center in your compass you cut a arc that is 7 double dash. So now you have constructed the points 1 double dash, 2 double dash, 3 double dash up to 7 double dash. When you unwound the string 
which has been revolved around the circle. When you unwound the string, what is the point that is traced by this point A? That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 7. Now, if you join these points, all these points 1 double dash, 2 double dash, 3 double dash, all these things by a smooth curve in your free hand, initially in your free hand using 2 H pencils, by thin lines you draw a smooth curve, you draw a smooth curve, then make it thick. That curve is called as involute. Okay? Now, let me draw that curve using this blue color marker. Okay. Right. So, you start from A, A1, A1, then 1, 2 double dash, then 2, 3, 3, 4. Okay. From A, you start A1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4. Okay. Then 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, then 7 to this B, 7 to B, 7 to B. Now this curve, this curve is called as the involute. The thing which is constructed by me using blue color is called as the involute. This curve is called as the involute of the circle. Okay. You can similarly, the similar procedure can be followed for constructing a square, for constructing the involute of a square, involute of a pentagon, involute of a triangle. For any polygon, you can construct a Involute. The same procedure you can follow. That we will discuss in our next lecture. Now, how to construct the tangent and normal for this involute? Tangent and normal. So, for constructing the tangent and normal, you take a point. You take a point P. Take a point P on the curve. Take a point P on the curve. Now, you join this. Now, you join this P with the center of the circle, with the center of the circle using thin line, only thin line. Okay. Right. Now, this OP, you find the center point of this OP, this one, center point. Now, with this center point as center point, a center and this OP as diameter, you construct a semicircular arc. Construct a semicircular arc. That is, with this point as center and see this one as center and this one as radius, I am constructing this semicircular arc like this. Okay. This arc will intersect the circle at a point. That point is called as M. That point is called as M. Now you join this N with P. Join the N with P. That P N is called as the normal for this curve. Join the. So I am constructing with blue color. Okay. So P N. P N is the line which is representing the normal for this involute curve. Now, if you draw a line which is perpendicular to P N, then that line will be called as the tangent for this curve. So, you draw a line perpendicular to Pn. So, like this. So, this is perpendicular to this. Now, this is called as the tangent for this curve involute curve. Okay. This is how to construct an involute of a circle of diameter 50 and constructing a tangent and normal for this curve. Okay. Right. Thank you.